Hey friends, this is Steven from Make It Rad. Today I'm going to be doing an overview of our 2023 Airstream 27 foot globe trotter. Join me. So we'll start with a quick overview of the exterior. If you're looking at one of these, you've probably seen quite a few videos on the exterior of these. This is a 2023 model and I'll try to highlight some of the subtle differences in the 2023 model year. But this is also a globe trotter, so we'll start there. The first thing you see is this does have the driver's side manual awning. This is just a shade awning, it's manual, just to cover up those windows. This is a twin bed model, so you can see the storage there in the front. You wouldn't see that if this is a queen bed model. The 2023 change that actually isn't up on the website is this is equipped with Coleman Mach AC units. This is the op this has the optional 50 amp with the second AC unit, but even if you get the standard, it's going to come with a Coleman Mach AC unit. The International and Flying Cloud still come with the Dometic units. I couldn't say which is better, but it is an undocumented change that the 2023 models have. This currently has an Anderson hitch on it. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll probably do a separate video later on the Anderson hitch, but uh, so far I've been pretty happy with it. It does take a little bit to dial in, but that's not the uh, subject of this video. So you can also see this has the standard campsite awning. This is a power awning on the Globetrotter coming around. It's kind of a tight space. I've got it up here at my house in between uh, camping trips. We can see the other front twin bed storage unit. That's about half the width of a twin bed right up there. This does have the power stabilizer jacks being a globe trotter. That's one of the options this has above, I believe, the international and the flying cloud. One of the subtle differences. Coming around the back, pretty standard Airstream stuff. You've got the uh, rear awning, the bumper storage. Come around this way. Not much to see here. Basically, all the standard stuff. You've got your furnace there. Stepping over this way, you have your 50 amp outlet. This would normally be a 30, but this has a second AC, so it's 50, but it would still be in the same location. You've got your coax for your cable TV. I've never used that. You've got your city water inlet, your black tank flush. This is your um, water fill area, and then exterior shower, and then coming back around to where we started. So that's it for the exterior. Not much to, not much to see here. I should mention all the 2023 models do not come with batteries, so that's something to plan for. Um, you can do AGM, lithium, or standard lead acid. The electronics inside support any of those three different chemistries. So let's head on inside. Stepping inside the Globetrotter, this has the London Gray interior. This is also different than the Flying Cloud in the International and in that it's, Airstream calls this a hitch fabric. It's basically an exterior grade fabric that they say can be used on like lawn chairs and yachts and that type of thing. It holds up pretty well. It cleans up pretty well. Um, this being the lighter color, you do have to watch out. We've got little ones and they make all sorts of messes on this. So you have to clean it up pretty well. We at least try to clean it up pretty quick. With me, you get real world uh, walkthroughs, not like the uh, normal dealer stuff. So <laughs> who knows what we'll find in here. But one change for 2023 is 12 volt TVs. So there's a TV up here. There's also a TV over in the bedroom over there, they are 12 volt. They do not require you to be plugged in or inverse or use the inverter. One thing I've heard people mention is, well, you would need the inverter if you wanted to use the splitter that's up there in the cabinet. You don't, that runs on 12 volt as well. So this does have the optional solar. Let's see what we got. We got about 119 watt right now. This is a 300 watt system for 2023. I've seen it right around 240 watts at the maximum. I don't usually look at it, but that's the change for 2023 is the solar is now from 290 watt panels to three 100 watt panels. So 300 watts total. It does keep the batteries topped off enough to run the fridge. We've never had a problem. I've left it here unplugged before and the fridge hasn't uh, run out of juice. So that's kind of a nice, nice insurance to have. 
I believe this is an eight cubic foot fridge, all electric. So it does 12 volt on battery and you plug it in, it switches to 110. Lots of space in there. We are in between trips, so we kind of leave, we leave this on, it's, it's on right now. Um, when it's pl plugged in at our house, but great fridge, plenty of space for us. Above the fridge, we have this little area. A lot of people don't like that this doesn't have a, you know, a way to, it doesn't stay up. You have to hold it up there. We just keep like first aid kit and basic medical supplies up there. Works pretty well. And you've got the curtain and the Globetrotter, they're white. That's for privacy from the wardrobe, which is right there, the shower, and also the bathroom. I'll just leave that in there, but you can see the track that it would go through. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. The 27 foot, one of the difference between the 25 is this wardrobe is basically two doors. 25, you get the single door. Who knows what we'll find in here. Like I said, it does have a light up there, but Plenty of space for us right now. Nothing's in here because we're washing all of our clothes. We're in between trips. The shower, pretty good size. You've all seen the videos where someone goes in there and stands there and talks about how tall it is. I'm 5'11", I fit, no problems. Um, it does have a light. I believe they changed the fan type up there to a different type of gasket for 2023. I couldn't verify that but works pretty well. Great little shower, it is what it is. Coming over to the bedroom, this is a twin bed model. And you can also get these in Queen. If you've looked at Airstreams, you probably are already aware of that. In the twin bed models, you do get this cabinet here as a bonus, and this cabinet here as a bonus on the twin bed models that is not there on the queen. I believe 25 foot, you only get the one on this side because it's shorter and you have to be able to escape out this window. And so I don't believe that they have this uh, cabinet here. Again, 12 volt TV, you can see that. Give you a little peek in here. These are kind of cool. They have the shelves with that are adjustable. I use the shelves on my side, but also you can remove those and, and hang your clothes. Here is a look at the Coleman Mach thermostat. That's different. Most of the ones you see in International and Flying Cloud will be Dometic. Moving up here, this has the upgraded, I believe it's some type of HEPA filter, but the overall design is different than you will see in the AC vents of the International and Flying Cloud. Again, that's a 2023 change to the Globe Trotter that isn't really mentioned anywhere on the, the Airstream site. So this being a dual AC, we have one in the bath her bedroom. The main one also right there is the same way. It looks like it's a little easier to take those vents down and, and clean those filters out. This being a globe trotter, we have extra cushions. I put them right there, one on each side. You can also see the other there. Sorry about the gimbal there. They don't get in the way. They're, you know, you hear about with a globe trotter, like what do you do with extra cushions? We just put them right there. There's, they, they work great. Things that are slightly different on the Globetrotter is these curtains are one piece from the center over. I believe on the International Flying Cloud, they're, they're two pieces. I don't know if it's a huge difference and they're pleated. So just personal preference there. What we do like about the Globetrotter is the backlit cabinets or the lighting above the cabinets. The curved doors are super, super cool. They're on gas struts. You've got the mirror to see in there and they're also lit inside. Um, you can see how this side lights up when I open up the cabinet right there. So those are super cool. You know, the International is lit up inside the cabinet as well. One thing we like about these is you can have them both open at the same time. So if this was an International, they have the sliding glass and you can either open one side or the other, that type of thing. So this allows you to open both sides and also those do open evenly. And also, you can throw a bunch of junk in there, close them up, and because they're not glass and kind of see-through, it still looks clean. So if, <laughs> if you're like us, you just throw, you know, all sorts of stuff in there, you can close them up and it still has that clean look. Just a personal preference for us in, in choosing the Globetrotter. It does have just the standard nightstand there, USB and power. 
coming around window that window opens so does the one on the other side another look at the cushions down there and on her side she prefers hanging her clothes in here so she took those shelves out but that's what's great about these closets is they're kind of a dual dual purpose you also have the uh, privacy curtain to where you can just close off the bedroom if you want and again the other curtain up there to close off the bathroom and the shower and the wardrobe. So popping into the bathroom, pretty standard stuff. I do like that the Globetrotter has the wood grain on the inside of the bathroom. That's one thing I've noticed on some of the others. Maybe the flying cloud is just sort of like white. Personal preference. You know, you get the idea. You can look at their stream website and see all this fun stuff. The shelves are cool. The mirror is cool. Nice little bathroom. And it's the one thing I can give Airstream credit for is uh, these cabinets are all real solid. Everything feels pretty good quality. The Airstream or the Globetrotter has the weave floor. We quite like it. It's not really difficult to clean. You would think it's, you'd have all sorts of stuff getting stuck in there. You don't. We just vacuum it out when we get home and it, it looks brand new. One option you can get in the 27 foot that we opted not to is the convection microwave. If you get the convection microwave, it's here, it replaces the gas oven, and then you have a larger pantry. So this is the standard pantry. This is just a door. You can see all kinds of stuff in there. And if you don't get the convection microwave down there, you get a standard microwave right here. Now, for us, getting the option of the convection microwave down here and eliminating this one up here is sort of not worth it because we like having both. So personal preference, but if you did get the convection microwave down there, this would be more pantry storage. But for us, we obviously don't have anything in here. We're in between trips. This is plenty for us. Like this is, <laughs> this is like a foot wide, two levels. Then you've also got some stuff down there, some, <laughs> some great room. Um, I mentioned before being able to hide your stuff in the Globetrotter, which is super nice. You can see not much in here right now. One little thing about the Globetrotter is these sink covers, those two for the main sink fit right up there. You can see those two little rubber deals. That's for the handle here. Maybe I'll just do this real quick so you can see it. I don't see this covered in a lot of videos, but what you do, you just come up here. And you can kind of see how that fits down in there. And we take this like drawer liner stuff, we put that in there and then we set the other one right on top of it. So we usually don't travel with those in the sink, but you know, that's their storage. I don't even know, I mean, when you buy these, they don't even tell you that. I don't even know if the, the dealers know about that. Here's the other side, all sorts of fun stuff in there. Again, nice backlit, has the mirror. You close it up, looks clean, right? So you've got three drawers. One difference on the Globetrotter versus the Flying Cloud and International is these are drawers versus cabinets. This is pretty cool. Kind of goes around the plumbing. We're not sitting level here, so that's going to want to close on me. But one thing I should also mention is the Globetrotter has these two bins back here. And those also have covers. And these come out. And you can use these for whatever you want. Extra trash bins. You can throw some ice in there, put a bottle of wine, whatever you feel like. But what do you do with these? Well, this is another one of those hideaway things. These go right in there. And if your Airstream was delivered like mine, they didn't use the countersunk screws that I have put in right there. They used screws that are like that. And so when you try to go put those countertop pieces in there, they either don't fit or tries to scratch them up. So I replaced those screws with the proper countersunk screws. So these function as designed. So you can see there's room for the other one right there. That one sits there. 
hopping over here. I'll go ahead and put this one back. But another unique glow trotter feature. And there you have that. Front key faucet. We also have a um, 110 volt outlet right up there. Standard Beraldi cooktop that's in all the other Airstreams. And again, in this model, gas range with stovetop. So if you order a 2023 and you get the convection oven, you will get not this Dometic unit, but you will get, I believe, a different brand. Um, I believe it's a Furion stovetop. The one downer of this one is the grates are small. You can, on e-trailer, order a, a cast iron grates for that that snap right in there. So, um, but we like it. it. It, you know, works for us. The Globetrotter Lounge. So these are notorious uh, on the forums for having wobbly tables. Actually, it's if you just tighten down the legs, it's pretty sturdy. I'm pulling on it pretty good. And you don't see it really wobbling. So all you do is you really tighten down those those legs and then it, it's make sure those latches are tight and it actually uh, snugs up pretty well. Power awning control is down there, the switch for above the cabinets, and then USB ports. Now the nice thing about the Globetrotter for us is you can sit right here and you have a spot to put your beverage or whatever you might have. And then along the back here, same thing. So you can sit right here in the corner, set your beverage down. These aren't falling down or doing anything, they're, they're, they're fixed right there. So kind of a more modern look, personal preference, but uh, very clean, something that, that we quite liked. Going again in the back cabinets, never know what's going to be in here, but nice clean look when they're closed. 2023, they re did remove the DVD player. <laughs> That's my actual DVD player. Then we have an Apple TV there. I happen to have the same DVD player. It's kind of funny that uh, Airstream was putting in these. It's actually a 12 volt DVD player. It just has an AC adapter that adapts it down, an external AC adapter that adapts down to 12 volt. So you can just order another AC adapter and then wire this directly into the same power that's in here that powers up the HDMI splitter. So if you plug in HDMI right there, whatever you have plugged in uh, goes to the two TVs. So again, these are backlit. This does have the uh, Fusion radio. That's a Globetrotter difference. Um, the others have the JL audio, which I believe is just, just as good. These does have JL audio speakers. I think this just has a few more functions. Um, I think you can airplay to it and do Bluetooth and a few other things. But nice thing, just have, again, both these cabinets are lit. Got the kiddo stuff in there. Um, the pleated shades, these are one piece on that side, one piece on the other. They do go all the way around. Let's see if I can pull it open more for you. you so you get the full, if I opened the other one, you'd get the full wrap around. I mean, that's what you get an airstream for, right? Those windows up front and the windows up back. So this being the Globetrotter does have the wraparound lounge in this configuration. You can see it's just set up with the dinette. What I will do is I will uh, switch that over for you and get some footage of what that looks like in the dinette and also in the, the bed configuration. So that can convert into a bed. And also this part right here, like all the other models, slide that out, pop a few cushions in there and you've got yourself a, another bed there. So pretty simple and easy. And also the storage all along down there and right over there. So one thing about these, and I'll get into it later, is those drawers and whether you do the wraparound dinette using the table or the drawers. I've seen videos where people say, no, 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 don't use the drawers. Well, you should see the slides on those things. They're like the slides that people use for their um, expedition vehicles when they put their big heavy refrigerators on there. Those are about two inches, maybe three inches thick. So, I mean, I'm confident in those, but you could certainly use the table if that's something you wanted to do. And I'll, I'll show that as well. So give me one second, I'll set up on the tripod and I'll show you the different configurations that this area has. So here we have the wraparound booth configuration. As you can see, we removed one of the half of the tables, pulled those two bottom drawers out and then put the cushion that Airstream provides right there. So this is actually pretty pretty comfortable. We use this quite often with the 
the, the little ones, there's plenty of room. You usually don't need a ton of table space, so um, it's nice to have the extra seating and the full wraparound effect. And if you park this where you've got a nice view and the full windows open, this is a really, a really great option to have. It's really comfortable. You can sit like this if you like, watch some TV. So um, we actually find this uh, pretty darn useful. Um, one of the nice advantages of the Globetrotters uh, variable configuration. Um, the table does move around a little bit like that, you, but you just want to tighten it down real well. And you know, it works great. We, we set our coffees like right here, watch TV or look out the windows, watch outside. Really, really great option on the Globetrotter. So while I had this configuration, I thought I would show the alternate method of coming up with essentially the same thing. So before I used the, the Airstream approved way, which is sliding out those drawers which have covers and placing the thicker cushion on top. This method, you use the other half of the table as you can see there, and a standard cushion for when you're making that into a bed. It accomplishes the same thing. Some people are worried about the rollers or the slides on the drawers and wearing those out or those sagging over time. Like I mentioned, and I might even put some B-roll in there if I can get a better shot. Those sliders are really, really heavy duty and reinforced. It's not something I would worry about, but just wanted to show this as I'm making up the other configuration that this is an option and some people are more comfortable doing it this way. Here we have the full lounge or the sleeping configuration. This is where our daughter sleeps when we're camping. We just throw that other table down, put the other cushion on top of it, and there you have it. You can shove a bunch of stuff under, under that area. Works really well, really quick, easy to do. All these are blackout shades. I've got all the lights on, but uh, anybody could sleep there, even in, during midday if you, if you wanted to. So that's one sleeping configuration and another example of the great versatility. I figured I'd show uh, one last configuration that is taking the, the, I don't know if you'd call that the side lounge seating and extending that tray out and putting the two cushions in there. This gives you the full sleeping capacity. We've had it in this configuration before, sleeping one person lengthwise, the other person across the lounge, and it, it works great, plenty of space. The nice thing is you can still walk through the, walk through the camper or Airstream right through and get in and out of the door right through that walkway. It doesn't block that in any way, so you're not disturbing people when you walk by. So um, full configuration. Hopefully this <laughs> helps everybody and kind of seeing all the different ways you can set this up. This really is quite versatile, a ton of space. If you only have one person, you can choose to use this one and keep the lounge up. If you don't want to change those tables out, that type of thing. So uh, a lot of different ways you can do it. Earlier I mentioned the drawer sliders on the lounge configuration. So I thought I'd come over here and just real quick, little bonus for everybody to check these out. There's a little hatch right here, just a couple screws that comes out. And then you can see the top of these drawers that pull out. And these drawers are covered because they support that cushion that supports the, the lounge configuration. Um, these little covers come up, you can put stuff in there, obviously, put it back down, and then the cushion goes on top. I put the tape measure in here for you to see the size of these slides. So that is right around three inches. It's almost exactly three inches thick. And that's some that's some thick metal right there. And it's reinforced with another piece of wood here. So um, looking at the tape measure, it's right at right at three inches. So. On both sides, you've got reinforcements on the under there. The slides are like three inches. I mean, these are these are heavy duty on both sides, and the, each one's supporting each side. So it's not something that I would be terribly too worried about. But obviously, there is the there's the table method for um, supporting the lounge. Another example of uh, just more storage storage everywhere in here. And then finally, there is shoe storage down here, and also the uh, JL Audio subwoofer <laughs> lives right down there. And the stereo sounds pretty good. So, little extra bonus footage for you. Obviously, you could set that lounge up any way you wanted, but just uh, I wouldn't be too worried about those slides. So that's a wrap for uh, the 2023 27-foot Globe Trotter. If you like this content, please subscribe. And if you have any questions, let me know. I am happy to do any type of follow-up and uh, any questions in the comments. Thanks so much. Take care, friends.